Hi, I'm here to show you a new project that we launched. That's a set of free and open source shaders for Godot for you to reuse in your games, but also to learn from. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It burns the character, but it also emits particles just from the places that are burning. Um, what do we have? We have the outlines, some basic things like that. You can outline something on hover, an effect you have seen probably in some games. You have some 3D shaders as well, while well, not just covering 2D. Uh, so the 3D dissolve there, or as seen in games like Portal, uh, the, um, the ability to view different worlds through a mesh, through faces or through a, a texture here. Uh, so it's an explanation on how to do the equivalent of stencil buffers in other engines, but that are not supported in Godot, rendering different viewports through a shader. Uh, you have the 3D outline, nothing too uh, special here, with a few variations of the shader and, for example, the 2D light, 3D, uh, 2D water. The 3D water is not there yet, but this one is an improved version of our old tutorial series, and it has some uh, light and in height information that allows you to use the 2D lights. Anyway, this is all free and open source. You can find a link to the project in the description below. The code is MIT licensed, so you can reuse it freely, even in commercial projects. Uh, in the project, by the way, you have a demos directory where you will find all the demos with some example code and some uh, explanation at the top. And you have a separate shaders directory where you can find the individual shaders. To fund this project, we are preparing a course on shaders. So if you're interested, you can click the link in the description below and subscribe to our newsletter. The persons who do so will get a um, coupon when we release the course to get 20% off uh, during the early access release. But with that, I invite you to check out the project. Let's see what else can I show you. We have another demo on uh, the Shockwave. This one's cool. So here's the closing demo with the ability to visualize that Shockwave. Needs some improvement still, but um, that's a cool post-processing effect. And with that, thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, and let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye.